This is an instructional video on how to use the Droplet Lab Tilted app. First, we create a new account. Choose the username and password. Confirm password. And security question for password recovery. After logging in, create a new project. Select the injection mode depending on if you ordered the automatic dispenser hardware add-on. We now put the phone inside the phone holder. Click on the blue image capture button and adjust the distance from the needle. We manipulate the orange box to select the area of interest. Use the focus slider to focus on the droplet. To get the best results, the focus slider should ideally be as close to the maximum value possible. The aim is to be as close to the droplet as possible without losing focus. Adjust the LED backlight and the phone's light. To get the best possible contrast between the droplet and the background, hit image capture when you are satisfied with the image quality. Be sure to adjust the orange cropping window to take into account the stage rotation and droplet sliding. Start tilting the stage and adjust the cropping window accordingly. Once the droplet is close to the critical point, it is recommended to use the multi-capture feature. The app's multi-capture function can be used to take multiple images in a set time frame. The maximum frames per second without an SD card is 10 FPS. Simply specify the number of images to capture and the duration of capture. Once you are ready, hit the capture button and start generating the droplet. Keep tilting the stage until the droplet starts to slide off. Click into one of the images to make a measurement. User only needs to provide an estimate for the baseline and left-right contact points. The system then auto-detects the exact contact points. Hit calculate to complete the measurement. In the case of this image, the left contact point is not being measured at the baseline. This can be corrected by adjusting the brightness during image capture, or by switching to either manual or extended points. Extended uses more of the droplet profile to find contact angle. Measurements can also be done on a pre-tilted stage. This time, the cropping window will be shrunk to only select the area around the droplet, resulting in a bigger image. The manual option can be used to force the measurement at the user's discretion. After completing on calculation in a series of images, the rest of the images can be automatically calculated from the project screen if all the settings were the same for each image. A few features that are accessed from the project screen. The project parameters can be edited. You can load external images into the project. You can also run a video slide show of the images in the project in chronological order. The calculated data can be saved for your preference. In settings, you can choose if you want to store the data on the SD card. You can also choose to save on your preferred cloud service. We currently support Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive and Box. We also allow you to easily report an issue from within the app via email. To archive a project, long press the project and hit archive. Archived projects can be accessed from the settings screen. Visit our website to learn more.